Hello and welcome to Casually Nerds. I'm Clouded. So I am actually from Singapore and yesterday is my nation's 50th birthday. So 50 years. Singapore has come a long way. And that's why I'm wearing red. <laughs> nation's color. Uh, the color of our flag, anyway. So today will be something a little special. We're going to take a look at uh, certain mobile games specifically designed for showcasing the Singapore culture or rather SG50 games as you can see right over I need to get the orientation right 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 it's right over here on this side of the screen yeah uh, I'm, it's a bit different today because uh, I'm kind of screencasting this so it might lag I apologize in advance so let's kind of look at the first game it's called Kan Chung and there's a spider on it Kan Chung spider is uh, kind of a Singapore phrase we used to describe someone who's kind of panicky and Hands with the timeline and things like that. Well, you are going to be hearing this sound right after from here, my device. So, if you can hear it, it's kind of a nice, funky tune. Here we have Copy Down Saga. Well, for those international friends out there, Copy Down is like your open house cafe more than just a cafe actually uh, well, let's just get into it my name is not a number why is my name a number of course I am older and I am a mobile phone all right select my neighborhood Oh, yeah. All the Singapore towns, mm. but I always like to live in the heartland of Hong Mo Kyu. My identification certificate is pink, and I'm a mobile phone. All right, so let's get to it. Hello, I'm your colleague on the Vivian. Let's go around. Round of challenge. Okay, so I'm actually playing with people. Is this live? Select Sapo Spider. Uh, I only have one to select. What does it do actually? I don't really know. Oh, okay, so I have to select the ingredients in, in order. Order. What in the world is, did you just order? Yun Yang Si. Oh, that's just coffee and tea mixed together with uh, can carnation milk. Teo, Teo Tipoe. Steady la. All the Singapore English lingo coming up. Oh, we are on a time limit. Ah, five. Ah, whoa, and I lost. I must be competing against actual coffee uncle. <laughs> well, 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 this is intense. Mix rice store. All, all right, so I have to select all the ingredients that the person point. Uh, did you order chicken wing? Yes, okay. Uh, 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 
Oh, one. Oh, I got one wrong. Dang. I. You don't normally point at food so fast, actually. That's a strategy to that. If you point the food and hold your finger there, you might get more ingredients. Shh. <laughs> oh, okay. Stop the summon auntie. Or rather. Eat. Oh. <laughs> What that fast already? Okay, okay, okay. How do you <laughs> the summon on the or rather the parking ticket? I can't eat it in time, man. I need to eat my lunch. Ah. It's not worth to get a parking ticket, guys. It's really expensive in Singapore with tax and all that. I barely eaten. I barely touched my noodles. It's not me. I reach a new level. I'm an Ikan Dili. That's um, Malay, I believe, for small fish. Right. Okay, so I as a prize for one try, ten coins. Do I have ten coins? That's it. That's all I can move. <laughs> It's all preset, I know. I got a barista spider. Does that help my cooking? Something? Okay, so there are actually other mini games in this. Um, we have tried me. No, we did. We have tried the mixed rice, the copy, and the anti fucking coupon anti. Okay, I I think that's all for this game. I mean, there are other mini games that we could try, but you gotta get the idea. <laughs> that's a really time-based kind of like reminds me of Bishi Bashi, the Japanese one. So, um, let's see. Let's try another one. Right, uh, this game is called My Singapore City. Not sure if you can hear the music. Yeah. I believe it's a Tamil song. I cannot remember for the life of me. I used to sing this when I was a kid back then. I totally cannot recall now. If you know the title, write it in the comments right? and refresh my memory a little. Let's go. Right, uh, as usual. It's me. Let's go. Okay, early development of Singapore. Are we gonna build Singapore from scratch? Well, let me just step and see what happens. I don't know. Ah, okay, so it's a match game. It's so weird. Okay. Ah, uh, I saw the rock. Yes, yes, the bus. Yes, this one. Uh huh. Uh huh. Got it. Ooh. 
Talk about refreshing a memory. Alright. Alright. Ah, 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 ah. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, mm. Okay. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, you're supposed to find building pieces so you can build. Well, this would be a long game, I guess. And I only have one building. Just a rock. The Singapore stone. Oh, the Singapore stone. I think it was already gone. <laughs> it's a long piece of history. It's been blown up or something. To well, not intentionally. But I mean, intentionally, but not by Singapore itself. So. Well, let's see what's in this. So you could learn about this landmark. Well, wow, this is a nice piece of history, game man. And I start building Singapore city by putting a stone. People, you build cities by laying a stone on the ground. Okay, so I assume this stone is gonna give me something. Yeah, give me coins. That's kind of like the one of those all those city games stuff. It's not bad. It's nice actually. That's a little touch of my country to it. History, yes. The Singapore stone is a remaining fragment of what used to be a large stone step ten feet tall, nine feet wide. Originally stood at the southeast bank of the Mouse and River It's a memorial stone and please agree It was blown up, yep, blown up. This blown up so that ships could come into the the river. Alright, uh, back then it was a uh British colony, Singapore was. Oh, and I collect coins. Do I play again? You spend 25 coins to play to get buildings. So, okay, let's go for another walk. Try to get one more building. Aha! Ah, oh, aha, uh -huh. yes, oh, I, I saw this one, yeah, are they changing? Ah, uh, let's try to get the new one. Uh, um, mm. No. <laughs> it's not accumulated. Does it not accumulate? I'm gonna hit again. Alright, I need some concentration now.
So the tutorial doesn't accumulate, I think. I think. Okay. Um, I, I can place my second building. Oh, I actually have more than second building. Boat house. Ah, uh, I think we do have some kilos now, but also it is gone. These are all the fishing fishers, fishermen. The the early fishermen they would live in this. Ah, well, it's a nice piece of history. So okay, let's move on. Okay, my face is small now because the this game is landscape, so you gotta see more of it, I guess. Rickshaw rush, ferry alley street passengers. What do I do? Swipe in the direction you want to. All right, we could also flip backwards. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, it's like GTA. <laughs> kind of. There you go. Okay, so am I giving stars to this guy? Well, Rick Shore is a. Uh, oh. As I was saying, Rick Shores are like the old taxis of uh, the 70s and 60s. No, I, this, I should be earlier than 60s. Does this guy have a time limit? Why? Is he important? <laughs> So yeah, there are there are, there are people who actually run and ferry you to where you want to go. They literally run and pull you along in a in a wagon. If these forties. Limbo saying Singapore war you. He's an actual person, Major General. He was a businessman oh. in the World War II. Singapore Warrior. Okay. A bit of trivia there too. Really Singaporean King. Oh, I'm supposed to answer this trivia. No. Ah, uh, ah. Uh huh. Ah. Uh -huh. And open. Update on new avatar. Okay, so I'll be running like a businessman in a rickshaw. <laughs> Why? Why? A businessman is pulling a rickshaw. Last game for today. Oh, so much history. I'm a lion. Why am I a number? You should be more creative, at least put an, a name like Tom inside or something. Fun. I have absolutely no idea what to do. Uh, 
Let's go. Me and I am the moonlight. Three computers. You actually play with actual players? It is Monopoly. <laughs> kind of. Right. Ended on the building tower. Pick a card. Shimarian Mon Temple. You have 5k, because one dollar. Uh, yeah, why not? Do. Build everything. How come some players are moving on the other direction? What? Shouldn't public holiday be for everyone? Alright, so there's a time limit. I'm assuming that if you play with real players, they have to adhere to the time. Build a restaurant, build a restaurant. Get to go again. Discovery of Singapore by some of the time. Right. <laughs> Win Liao Lo. Of course. Thank you for eating at my restaurant. Horse. Oh, You know, if a single player wanted we could fast forward this. Why not? Just build everything. Build everything. Build till we are bankrupt. My items, my. stuff. What's my goal actually? Uh, I have to build one iconic building, one restaurant. So I complete a tree already. Tan khaki. But oh, that that completed one objective for me. What can I do with that guy? Can I do something with this guy? Philanthropist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it's my turn. How could I get nothing? I threw a car. They're building their stuff too. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> okay, I guess the longer games might have more objectives, which are harder to make. And you might be able to solve other people, I'm not sure. But uh, that's all the time we have for this. I'm going to play more. But yeah, that's it for this episode. It's very Singapore episode. Uh, so you can try all these games for yourself. I downloaded them from the Android. I will put a link. 
in the description below where you can find them. Not sure if you could find them on the if you are from another country or is this local base only apps, but yeah, I hope it's international. Uh, so that's it for today and those of you still celebrating your public holidays, National Day. If you are Singaporean, happy National Day. And I'll be seeing you in another video. Goodbye.